The Barn Theatre Club presents Marsha's Last Stand by Max Drayton. And now, please welcome to the stage Dr. Marsha Warwick, our Head of History. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Well, it's good to see so many of you here today, especially as it's the last day. Your last day of university life. Well, I think congratulations are in order. As you know, this is not only your last day in this uh, august institution, but mine, too. Next week, I leave for Australia and a new life as an historical author. I'd like to thank you for your good wishes, some of them heartfelt, I'm sure. And thank you for the present. A nice gold pen, engraved too, which is a lovely touch. I suppose you think I can rewrite history now? <laughs> Do you know, I've taught history for more than 30 years. But has anyone really listened? Or learned. <laughs> There's an old adage. History repeats itself and is only recorded by the victors. History has often been altered to suit the times or the audience. But we must not lose sight of the truth. Given mankind's existence over many thousands of years, it's really only in recent times that leaders have stopped going into battle with their armies. Originally, everyone fought for their country, from serfs all the way up to the king, all joined in deadly battle. It would have been a truly national effort. Today, the politicians who start the wars stay safe and secure in their war rooms and offices. The armed forces do the fighting, all salaried and career-driven. Today, I look at you and know none of you is likely to enjoy a period of total peace. Our country will probably be engaged in some conflict or other for the rest of your lives. That makes me sad. Actually, no, that makes me mad. So what is war? Well, by definition, war is a conflict carried on by force of arms between nations or parties within a nation. Neither party will back down, so fighting becomes the only solution. Might makes right. In the modern world, land taken in conflict is often given back because of pressure from the rest of the civilised world only emphasising that there's no real point to a war that's solely about territory. Today's wars are more likely to be about religion, race, or even oil. But often great empires rose from warlike cultures. I mean, take the Mayans or the Aztecs, the Romans or the Mongols. Other great empires, they grew from trade, and greed, such as the Spanish Empire, the, uh, the Russian Empire. Oh, and let's not forget the largest empire in history, the British. Each of these empires covered vast expanses of the globe in their time. What's left of them now? Expansion to the point of collapse. Nothing is permanent. These days... War rarely resolves the original problem. Did you know that the UK has been at war for over 50 years? That might surprise some of you. The Northern Ireland Troubles began in 1968 and continued for 30 years. The Falklands in 1982. The Gulf War in 1990. Bosnia in 1992, Kosovo 1998, 
Afghanistan, 2001, Iraq, 2003, and the global war on terrorism declared on 16th September, 2001, in reaction to 9-11. Still ongoing. The UK has been drawn into all these conflicts, and what's the result? Absolutely nothing. Very little's changed. Modern wars are intensely scrutinised. Body cams on the front line, media correspondence with our troops. But when a soldier dies in combat today, we have no real sense that it's a war. During the First World War, 6,000 soldiers died every single day. Sadly, that's what we think a real war is. But ask the relatives of a lost soldier. They'll tell you what war is about. Grief, loss, and a wasted life. We just don't learn from history, so we make the same mistakes over and over again. Now, I have the opportunity to write about the real effects of war on history. And I shall write about them. With this excellent pen you've all given me. Oh, perhaps I can finally prove that the pen can be mightier than the sword. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Good luck with whatever you choose to do with your futures. And peace to you all. That was Marsha's last stand. The role of Marsha was played by Mandy Witt. The piece was written by Max Drayton, introduced and directed by Louise Ellicker, and produced for the Barn Theatre by Gareth Forber. If you've enjoyed listening to this radio play, please consider supporting the Barn Theatre Club by following the links on our website and making a donation.